Our tribes are made up differently from the past. Up until pretty recently, your family made up your tribe, or for us, our clan. Today, your clan might be family, but that'll be much smaller and spread wider than families have ever been. And so, friends, workmates, neighbours, our community, or football team, or church group, fill in the gap and these people become our substitute tribe. But our position in that tribe will still decide whether that feels like a secure place to be or leaves us constantly feeling insecure. When we talked earlier about the way old brain triggers fight, flight, freeze when it senses danger, well, old brain sees many dangers in all sorts of situations. And a threat to this doesn't have to be physical or life-threatening. If it picks up a threat to our tribe or our place in the tribe, then that's as big a danger as anything that physically threatens us. Making a fool of ourselves, being rejected, humiliated, making a mistake can all trigger old brain because it's concerned with keeping us alive, but it's equally trying to make sure we are valued, respected, and that we are someone important to our tribe. Because for our species, our most basic need is to feel that we are part of something bigger than ourselves and that we have a solid sense of belonging. Now, that's good if you're living a quarter of a million years ago in a cave surrounded by your tribe. But for us today, living in our modern world, that old ancient reaction to protect us is often neither helpful nor appropriate because being alone, treated unfairly, getting poor service, not being listened to, coming last, will all feel like a threat to old brain. And that's why we're as likely to trip into fight, flight, freeze when we're sitting in the house, walking around the shops, being in a meeting at work or going for a job interview. These are all situations where we can make a fool of ourselves, make a mistake, get rejected over someone else, get spoken to as if we're irrelevant. But if you're in a job interview and you fly over the desk and take the interview panel by the throat or run out the door or just sit there wide-eyed and unable to string two words together, chances are you're not getting that job. So all of us have had to learn how to get new brain to kick in when old brain wants to attack, run, or zone out. Playlist 2 is filled with videos on short steps we can take to achieve that. Feel free to skip straight to there if that would be the most helpful thing for you right now.